Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to go through the seasonal challenges and Eververse. I'm going to be adding Eververse to this just because uh, people are curious. And I think it's a good way to show what, what's for free this season or for, for that week. So first and foremost, we're going to be looking at Wayfinder's Voyage 3. Use the Wayfinder's Compass to complete Wayfinder's, Wayfinder's Voyage 3. Also, defeat Taken and Hive anywhere in the system. Stasis Final Blows will grant more progress. Uh, not too hard, just complete the story, whatever progress you are in, if you are Wayfinder 1 or 2, just continue that to get to the third one. Honestly, again, just play the game, and for the Stasis Final Blows, you can use Stasis Weapons or just Stasis itself, either way, this one's pretty simple. Umbral Wayfinder 3, focus Tier 2 or Greater Umbral Ingrams at the Prismatic Recaster in the Helm, open Wayfinder Troves in the Astral Alignment Activity. Uh, again. This one's not too hard. Wayfinder Troves, uh, I've already, thankfully, they, it works retroactive. So if you've been playing that activity, then this is not going to be too hard for you. Umbral Engram's Focus is going to be quite annoying. But at the end of the day, this is going to be pretty simple. Initiate Leyliner. Complete rounds of Astral Alignment and Defeat Taken with the Taken Relic. Uh, again, this one's not too hard. Play the activity and you'll, find, you'll eventually get it. Obviously, you're going to want to combine a lot of these together. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Astral Telemetry, gather par parallax trajectories from playlists or astral alignment activities or from ascendant anchors found on destinations and in the Shattered Realm activity. Uh, just play the game. This one legitimately is just play the game however you're playing it. You'll get parallax trajectories just from whatever you're doing. And I highly su suggest to uh, just keep using that uh, parallax trajectory just be so that way you can keep getting more and more. Uh, Sacred Scorcher, this one is the new pvp mode right now well not new but it's the new one for this week uh this one's not going to be too hard just get defeats with it this one might be a little challenging for people who are not good at scorch but i have made a video i'll link it in the bottom but it's basically shows you how to play scorch and a really fun way to play scorch as well uh, primal entourage defeat taken in, in gambit earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants uh this one's not gonna be too hard but a lot of people are not gonna like it just because it's ta it's a uh, gambit themed which is completely fair gambit is not the best but at the end of the day uh bright dust and challenges just give you a fuck ton of experience so i highly suggest it uh, on the moon earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and lost sectors again not too hard you're going to want to get the bounties and then start completing public events or lost sectors either way obviously bounties and pub patrols when you're completing public events or lost sectors is going to be the best way to do it challengers a poggy i don't know it's weird reach power level 1320 by earning powerful rewards and prime ingrams this is not too hard considering the game is going to try to get you to 1320 immediately because that is when you can start power leveling to 1330. So just play the game and you'll eventually get there. Long range calibration, calibrate long range weapons, pulse rifle, bows, and tra trace rifles on the moon, bonus progress in Lost Sector. This one, again, you're gonna wanna combine uh, light moon rising with long range calibration. So that way you can do this. Obviously you kind of have to. Uh, last but not least, ultimate champion, defeat champions and any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher, earn bonus progress at higher difficulty tiers. Uh, this one might be a little annoying depending on which nightfall it is, but again, the cool thing is you have matchmaking for hero. So at that point, you're just going to be getting other people with you. So this one's not going to be hard. It's just going to take you a little bit of time. Overall, these challenges are pretty simple. Uh, nothing too crazy. Let's go look at ever see what she's selling. First and foremost, she's going to be selling the firebreak warden, which is a ship. It looks gross. Uh, Archangel's Electri Electricity, I don't whatever. I think it looks pretty cool, especially if you're going for a a Warmind look. That's pretty cool. And then Lion's Pride, the new shader for this week. I already got it, but I'm actually really happy because it looks really cool. And then Stasis Entrance, if you want it. And then let's go look at the bottom, which Lost Projection. You're getting Cyber Optics. I might actually get this because this is the season of the splicer one and i think it looks really cool i might actually pick that up uh tachyon 4 which is a ship you get a eager beaver okay uh four degree separation this one's pretty cool it it has that uh, d uh divinity look uh nano redo redo or whatever it's called for the hunter ornament i'll have the warlock and titan up right now just to show you guys Uh, 
And last but not least, we have the Ninja Vanish, which is a really funny one, but I don't think I'm gonna spend 3,000 Bright Dust for it. So yeah, Nano Redo, I'm actually, I might get this just because uh, I don't have it. And I've seen a lot of cool people, uh, I've seen a lot of people do some cool uh, Seaver related armor sets, which looks really cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll like seeing in the description below. Again, challenges are not that crazy. I think they're actually pretty simple right now. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or you guys just want to ask me how to do some of these, obviously, uh, in the comments, you guys can just let me know. But be safe, and I will see you guys later.